All right, so exciting stuff here for K20 Pro users. Pixel Experience has come out with a beta build officially on Android 12. There are a lot of things that are missing. There are a lot of things that are broken, but don't worry. It is a start and sooner rather than later, it will get stable. So in today's video, we're quickly going to install it step by step. That will also give you a guide of how to go about installing it. And then we'll quickly, you know, navigate around the UI. Of course, we won't have the benchmarks and stuff because this is the initial build. We'll quickly have a quick look of what is working, what is not working. So this is basically an install and preview of Pixel Experience based on Android 12 beta for the redmi k20 pro and the mi 90 pro so before we actually get into the video if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything it really motivates us to make amazing content like this if you like chatting with like-minded people will join us on telegram we have more than 1000 to 1200 people with similar devices chatting helping each other and you can also follow us on instagram twitter and facebook last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort well please click on the join button and support the channel now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now, I'll be honest over here. I saw this this morning and I have been excited since then because it is officially a beta. I know it might not be usable daily, but I've not tried it. I'll be very, very honest. I'm trying this in front of the camera with you guys. So my experience is going to be very, very raw. All right, so let's get into it then. Let's see what we have here. PE official Raphael S, that is Android S. UDFES beta, Pixel Experience Android 12 beta, initial build 25th November, 2021. Source change log is going to be huge. A lot of devices will start getting official Android 12 builds now for the Pixel Experience ROM. November updates and here is the beta, da, 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 da. that's a long story, I'm not going to read that in front of the camera, you can go ahead and read that yourself. This is the initial build of Pixel Experience Android 12 and therefore clean flash is required, please back up your data beforehand. The ROM has G apps included, it uses OSS, vendor and perf kernel, perf calf kernel, SE Linux is permissive so that is a bug, uses latest Android 11 firmware for your device and region. For the time being, there is no Pixel Experience 12 Plus during the beta stage until stable releases roll out next year. So they're directly targeting next year, which is I think in two months, which is, you know, a fair deal. So what do you need to install then? You need the firmware and you need the ROM. You need to have TWRP installed. Make sure all the data on your device is backed up. Your device should have more than 50% battery. Ironic that I have exactly 50%. And uh, yeah, remove all the, you know, face unlock, screen unlock, fingerprint scanner, Gmail account, all the accounts and reboot your device once. Now, once you've done all of that, I would recommend, you know, get a USB OTG pen drive and copy those two files on there. We're going to now reboot into TWRP to install this ROM. So power, reboot and recovery. We do have the OTG connected with the two files in there. All right, now, as you can see over here, we've booted into Orange Fox Recovery. So we'll go to wipe Dalvik cache system vendor data. I'm wiping internal storage because I have my files on the pen drive. If you have your files on there, don't wipe internal storage. First install the ROM. So wipe everything. All right, so then go to the main menu and select your OTG pen drive. Now you do see I have two files in here. We wiped everything, remember? So we will select the firmware first and then we will select add to queue and select the ROM. Swipe to confirm flash. Now this flash will take anywhere between 45 seconds to a couple of minutes. So please be patient while that happens. And uh, yeah, Pixel Experience Android 12. A lot of people have been waiting. It's finally here. Let's see if it lives up to our expectations or not. I'm going to play around with this ROM today and see how good or bad it is and maybe Tomorrow or day after tomorrow, I'll probably do a quick review sort of thing with the benchmark numbers and stuff if it is worth it, that is, right? Let's wait for the ROM to flash real quick. All right, now, as you can see, everything has been flashed. So go to the main screen, go to wipe, select format data and type in yes. Okay, now click on reboot system. The first boot for Pixel Experience Android 12 on the Redmi K20 Pro. A lot of things will be tested like fingerprint. I know pretty much a lot of things will be broken because uh, one of my lead testers uh, was going to try this ROM, but he said that in the group people are saying that a lot of things are not working. You have a very, very basic dark pixel animation, dark pixel boot animation rather. Let's wait for the phone to completely boot. It should not take more than 30 seconds to a minute. These are very light ROMs, Android 12 and stuff like that. So let's wait for it to boot up. 
okay just like that it says welcome to your pixel uh okay it did not recognize my uh, input earlier but now it is so see all wi-fi networks okay wi-fi is working okay the brightness is sort of you know going up and down up and down i'm gonna skip through rest of the setup here real quick okay so let's try the fingerprint scanner it seems to be working fine okay I don't know, Google has done a great job with in-display fingerprint scanners with their OS. Okay, so the fingerprint setup was absolutely smooth, absolutely fine, no problem whatsoever. We're gonna skip the navigation and go to the home screen. A very, very familiar looking Android 12 experience. So let's go to settings over here. Let's go to about. There is some stutter though, Android version 12, Android version 12. Keep tapping on it. You have the Android 12 Easter egg. Yes, you have it, right? This is a November security patch. It of course comes with the Perf kernel. Uh, under battery, you do still have optimization profiles, which is a good thing over here. Let's go and put contacts to performance mode. <laughs> yeah, just kidding there. Uh, battery percentage is there. This is the basic addition. This is not the plus addition is clearly mentioned. Uh, I don't see any major bugs. There might be major bugs in usability though. But uh, as you can see over here, let's see about the screen recorder over here. What, what's the status? Start. 3, 2, 1. Okay. So let's see here. Home settings. You have your Google launcher. There you go. Everything. Yeah. The Google feed is coming now. So Wi-Fi is working, screen recorder is working. Stopping the screen recording now. Let's see the screen recording. Yeah, the screen recording works absolutely fine. Okay, now the ROM is settling down and now the ROM has smoothened out, yeah. So for an initial build, this looks very, very promising. There are no applications whatsoever. This is just G apps and the ROM. That's it, bare minimum, no features, a very, very basic camera application. There's not much to show over here, but I'll tell you this, this looks promising. This looks very, very smooth. Uh, let's, let's have a look at the fingerprint scanner once. Works absolutely fine. Do we have always on display? No. Wow, the fingerprint scanner is really, really good. Let's uh, see if we have settings. Say you go to display and you go you should have ambient display or something right screen timeout so let's let's look for ambient display or always on display over here ambient display display and lock screen so ambient display okay always on let's put it to always on oh it's very light yeah, the ambient display is on right now, but the brightness is very, very low, right? I don't know why. Yeah, it's there. So it's it's a bug. What do you expect? It's definitely a bug. Yeah, but the fingerprint scanner is rock solid, super fast working, absolutely fine. Even if you say go to display over here and uh, remove the dark theme, let's change the wallpaper let's go to a different bloom style let's let's go to this wallpaper wallpaper yeah monet doing a great job over here so pixel experience android 12 beta looks really really promising i know there might be a lot of bugs that i have not explored but all in all this looks like a very very good start you know usb otg is working almost all the features are working i have network wi-fi battery percentage so i'll try it for a couple of days and let me know if you want to me to make an initial impressions video or not until the next one, this is Kailash, signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.